if we read the nuzul e quran why was why were these verses revealed we come to know that the mushriks and the kuffars of makkah they laid the allegation that this quran knows billah are the words of the satan the words of shaitan so the allah reveals this that none can touch the arabic word used is kitabum maknun that means a book well preserved kitab maknun this kitab maknun does not refer to this glorious quran this book quran in arabic is called as a mushaf what the quran is referring to if we cross reference of surah buruj chapter number 85 verse number 21 22 which says that allah has kept the quran in a tablet well preserved in lohe mahfuz so this quran which is being referred is referred to the lohe mahfuz the tablet well preserved the book well preserved it's not talking about this quran because if it was this quran and if the arabic word used mutahharin that it means that only body cleanliness then any non muslim can easily go to the marketplace and buy a copy of the quran for 150 rupees for 200 rupees for 4 dollars for 5 dollars and the quran will be proved wrong the mutahharin word used does not refer only to body cleanliness it refers to a person who's pure in heart in mind in soul person who's sinless referring to the angels that none will be able to touch the quran in the tablet well preserved lohe mahfuz except the angels trying to give a reply to the allegation of the mushriks of makkah that this quran was not the words of the satan so this was the quran does not indicate that a person should be pure in body if he is it's good it is mustaf alhamdulillah but it's not a must and furthermore even if it was a requirement imagine even if it was a requirement if a person's shirk can be removed from his life even if you consider this as a small mistake to touch the quran without wudu yet removing the shirk which is the biggest sin in islam to do a small mistake to remove the biggish sin in islam it is yet a very good bargain but the scholars of tafsir they say this verse does not refer and does not indicate that a person should be in wudu to touch the quran but being in wudu is good it is mustahab alhamdulillah but not a must there are many people many muslims who tell me okay brother zakir give the quran to the non muslim but only give the english translation don't give the arabic text or give the hindi translation the urdu translation i have got no problem if someone only gives the translation of the quran but i personally prefer giving the arabic text along with the translation why because the translation is the work of a human being and no human being is perfect as i mentioned earlier that no translation is perfect and if there is a mistake in the translation it will not be attributed to allah subhanahu wa taala because if we check it up with the arabic text besides the translation we can easily verify that if there is a mistake in the translation it is the work of the human being and not of allah subhanahu wa taala so i personally prefer giving along with the translation the arabic text so that if there is a mistake allah subhanahu wa taala he will not be responsible it is the responsibility of the translator 
and furthermore if allah holds me responsible i will be in good company i'll be in the company of the beloved prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam why because if you read the seerah of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he wrote letters to non muslim kings in which he dictated verses of the quran he told the sahabas he dictated letters to non muslim kings in which he dictated verses of the quran he sent letters to nicus of abyssinia to emperor heraclius emperor of persia king of yemen king of egypt many of these kings alhamdulillah they accepted islam but some of them they even tore the letter some of them even trampled it beneath their feet imagine the verses of the quran dictated by the prophet they were torn by these kings and some of them even trampled it beneath their feet and one such letter is available in the koptaki museum in turkey in which the prophet had dictated the verse of the quran of surah al-imran chapter number 3 verse number 64 which says kul ya ahli al-kitab say o people of the book ta'alu ila kalimatin sawa in bayna baynakum come to common terms as in us and you which is the first term allah na abda illa allah that we worship none but allah wala nushrika bihi shay'an that we associate no partners with him wala yattakhidha ba'duna ba'dan arbaban min dun illah that we erect not among ourselves lords and patrons other than allah fain tawallu if then they turn back faqulu shadu say be witness we are not muslimun that we are muslims bowing our will to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this verse of the quran was dictated to the non muslim kings by the beloved prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam it's yet available in the museum the koptaki museum in turkey and i want to ask you the question today there are about 14 million arabs who are coptic christians who are christians since generations i am asking you the question which translation of the quran will you give to these 14 million coptic arab christians do you want to translate the arabic quran into arabic again you will have to give the original text to these christian arabs who understand arabic as a language arabic is a mother tongue which translation will you give will you give the urdu translation will you give the english translation you have to give the original kalam of allah subhanahu wa taala in arabic that's the reason i personally prefer along with the translation give the original arabic text and the quran was revealed for the whole of humankind and the last and final messenger prophet muhammad peace be upon him was sent as a messenger to the whole of humankind there are many muslims who say that the quran is meant to be read with understanding only by the alims only by the scholars a layman muslim should not try to understand the quran the quran is meant to be read with understanding only by the alims only by the scholars